Hi, Luke here with CatsAndCarp.com, and it's the second week of September here in Virginia. It's a beautiful, beautiful Monday morning. I got up at 6 in the morning, saw the sunrise, and there's this gorgeous mist burning off. And of course, we've got this mist because the water temperature is high, but the air temperature is low. What's happened is uh, we had a cold front come in last week, and the temperatures have gone from the 90s down to the uh, 70s in the middle of the day with uh, lows in the mid-50s at night. So it's a real drastic uh, cold front that's come in. And uh, the cooling water temperatures is what triggers the fall spawn for carp. And so I don't know if it's affected the water temperatures enough, but obviously the water temperature is still pretty warm if it's steaming. Uh, but I'm hoping that the carp will begin to move into the margin. So I've chucked out some uh, corn just off the point here just off the point off there, got only two rods out, and I've only got two hours to fish, but that's okay. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous morning, and watching the sunrise and watching this beautiful scenery, it's just been a wonderful start to the day. But I have also have a long-term strategy. Carp have excellent memories, and if there's any carp moving around in this lagoon, if I keep baiting at 6 in the morning, they're going to learn very quickly that at 6 in the morning, this is the place to be to get food. And so I'm going to try to uh, get out here as uh, many mornings as I can this week. And I think by the end of the week, if I haven't got something today, I will definitely have a pretty hot fishing spot by the end of the week. So uh, this kind of uh, long-term game plan works really well with car fishing. But we'll see if we can't pull something out in the, the two hours I have today. Anyway, let's see what happens. Well, at any rate, it's been an uneventful morning. It's been quiet, no bites. I've only had about an uh, hour and a half, two hours here on the bank, but uh, no regrets at all. It's just been gorgeous watching the sun rise over the trees, watching the mist on the lake, uh, watching the, the bluegills, and no regrets at all. But uh, I think if we keep coming back here and chumming these spots uh, every morning, that uh, we're gonna see some pretty good action by the end of the week. I think the carp are going to figure out that uh, I'm here and uh, that there's freebies to be had uh, right around sunrise and they're going to come and uh, start coming in large numbers. So we'll see what happens and uh, we'll keep trying. But absolutely wonderful morning. Well, I get here and uh, not, my rods aren't in the water for two minutes and this little guy takes off. So, uh, so far so good. We're going to chum up the spot again and uh, see if we can't get some of its big brothers. Yeah, what a pretty little car. All right. uh, well, it's Tuesday morning and I'm already feeling a little bit more upbeat. I got to bed earlier, got out of bed earlier, and uh, um, got to out on the water a lot earlier. It was still dark when I got here, and I'm all set up. And uh, I've already tell, can already tell a really big difference from yesterday. Um, this rod, I had it out for less than three minutes, and got a little little carp. Uh, so uh, it's, it's a good sign of life. So I've just re-topped uh, the spot off, threw some more bait out there, rebaited my hook back out there. Once again, I'm fishing with two rods in the same spot, and I'm chumming the same spots, and uh, we're going to see if we can't build on this momentum and, and pull out some, some good-sized fish. But uh, at any rate, 
uh, I can see that the, 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 the chum seems to already uh, be working. There was somebody here uh, waiting for me when I got here. All right. Uh, here's a little shot of my other rod, which I haven't shown you yet. Um, can you see I'm just fishing just barely beyond those uh, emergent weeds, uh, maybe four or five feet beyond the weed line, uh, real close to the margins. So same sort of thing, just threw out some uh, corn and particle bait by hand and uh, sitting and waiting. Hey there, see that little turtle? There you go, just dumped his head under. Got a lot of turtles around here. I keep getting these little bites, this little beep beep on the alarm. They're often turtles. They like the corn. What a gorgeous morning. I mean, it's just absolutely been gorgeous. I'm just having a ball. One fish, which is one more than yesterday. Um, caught him right off the bat within three minutes of uh, getting out here. And uh, then after that, got a lot of turtle bites. I mean, there's lots of turtles around here. You get those little beep, 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 you know, on the alarm, just something kind of pecking at it. Probably turtles. Um, so. I'm going to chum up the spot really good before I leave here in a few minutes and uh, we're going to hit it tomorrow morning, see what happens, but uh, definitely a little bit better. All right. All right, it's day three. Um, once again, another beautiful morning. I'm really late getting started though. Uh, yeah, I worked too much on my YouTube channel this morning, had to take care of a few things, but uh, I'm a little bit late getting out and I've got to get to work a little bit earlier today so I only have about one hour to fish today so uh, Monday and Tuesday I fished uh, about two hours an hour 45 minutes today got one hour so we're gonna see if we can't uh, pull out an express carp here um, but at any rate got some brand new fresh chum boiled up some corn last night and uh, we're gonna see what happens but uh, anyway I'm just glad to be out fishing and we'll We'll, uh, take it from there. Oh yeah, this is a one hour fishing trip right here. This is nice. <laughs> pretty fish. This is real uh, typical fish of what I catch out of here. This one's been around the block a little bit though. His tail's trashed up a little bit. Shows he's got some character. He's got plenty of fight. Nice fish. That's a real nice fish. At any rate, this one took me 15 minutes to catch. So, uh, not too bad. Not too bad. It's getting better. Let's get this belly back in the water. All right, well, I just landed one, and a nice, nice carp, but uh, what's got me really excited is when I cast my hook back in after rebaiting. 
um, I can see two bubble trails shooting off. So that's a pretty good indicator that uh, there was at least two other carp foraging around in that spot. When I cast in, they spooked them off. So hopefully they're just temporarily nervous and uh, threw a little, little more corn in there, baited the spot back up and uh, give it 15, 20 minutes. Uh, hopefully that school of carp will come back in there and we'll get another hit. So, uh, well, we'll see it. In this case, wishes are fishes. So um, hopefully that'll work out. Both of us are going to take a little breather here. Let him catch his breath before photo time. There we go. Oh. Nice fish here. This is uh, the second one in 40 minutes. So, another beautiful fish, probably about 16, 18 pounds. Don't have a scale on me, so I'll be as big as I want, I suppose, but I'm guessing about 16, 18 pounds. Fought like crazy, nice and healthy. Look at that rudder on that thing. This is a nice work week right here. I've got to be in court in like 45 minutes. <laughs> with that last cast, you know? You, you actually catch a fish and then you're in trouble. <laughs> Alright, another beautiful fish. I'm putting all the gear away. I have that one last rod out. Landing nets in the car and the hooking nets in the car. So maybe got to rethink that, but um, what a beautiful fish. Anyway. <laughs> well, third day is the charm. It's uh, Wednesday, and I've got only been had my rods in the uh, water for 65 minutes, and in 65 minutes landed three carp, all doubles. So it is definitely getting hotter. Uh, the fishing is getting better and better. Um, it's just fabulous. I also noticed that there's hardly any turtles around. The turtles have been eating my bait up for the last two days. They seem to be gone, but definitely there's some carp around. Um, so, yeah, these carp, they've got good memories. They remember where to find food. And uh, you keep chumming the same spot, they'll start showing up in greater and greater numbers. And uh, I think this is proving just that point. So we'll see if we can get it even better before the end of the week. All right, I gotta get going. Well, it's 6.30 this time, so I got here uh, 30 minutes sooner than I did uh, yesterday. It's day four, day four, and uh, successes of yesterday have helped motivate me out of bed uh, today. So, uh, we're gonna see what happens. It's not nearly as foggy today, uh, which, but it's about the same temperature. You know, we really haven't had a lot of fluctuation in air temperature in the last four days. So the fact that it's less foggy, even though it's earlier, telling me that this water temperature really is dropping and uh, um, man it's just it's just good news for us but at any rate um, got the same bait I've been using um, 
boiled feed corn. And we're going to see what we can pull out. Uh, and, uh, I can already tell there's carp on the spot. When I cast out my, uh, my rod over here behind me, I could see little V's as, as the splash from the lead was scaring carp away. They were taken off and you could see the disturbances. So any moment now I'm expecting a, a bite. But uh, looking forward to a nice little morning session. I've got to leave a little bit earlier than I did yesterday though. I've, uh, yeah, I can't, uh, can't cut it so close this time <laughs> today. At any rate, um, we'll see what happens. Feels like a nice fish. Fish and carp right there. What a double. Look at that. Look at that. That is a nice channel cat. That is a nice, beautiful carp. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. 
Well, it's a little bit earlier than I wanted to quit, but that double just tore up my gear. <laughs> Everything's a mess. It'll take me a few minutes to get it back together, and I shouldn't be late to court today. So, at any rate, I'm going to pack it in. Whew, what a day. Well, I've been fishing for an hour and a half, and I caught four fish. I got uh, two uh, nice little carp. And then I caught a low double and uh, a catfish at the same time. So a wicked cats and carp double. It was a really nice catfish. Um, that, that looked like it was weighing uh, about oh, 10 pounds, give or take. Um, but so really nice channel cat for this lake. Um, and caught it on corn and carp rigs and everything. So you know, uh, that was that was really fun. So four fish in an hour and a half. Just another great day. So uh, at any rate, but I gotta get going. I gotta leave a little bit earlier today, so I'm gonna pack it up and uh, shave and uh, see what uh, see what tomorrow holds. At any rate, all right, it's day five and uh, another beautiful morning. So uh, I got here early. Uh, got up really early. Was real proud of myself. Was ahead of the game. Earliest I'd gotten here so far this week. I throw out the corn, I'm starting to set up, and I realize, oh, I forgot my landing net and my unhooking net. So ran back to the house, got that, lost a little bit of time. But because of that, there's a good chance that carp are sitting on the spots that I just chunked. Um, so I don't want to throw my lead right on top of feeding carp and scare them all away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a handful of corn and chuck it right where I'm going to cast. And the sound of the, the corn hitting right above them will sometimes spook them just a little bit, move them out of the spot just a little bit. And then I throw my lead on, and instead of throwing my lead onto the head of carp, they've cleared out just a little bit. So they haven't run away as far as they would if I dropped the lead on them. That's the theory anyway, so that's, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if I can't get a real quick hook up here. Uh, but at any rate, looks like a fabulous day. are unusually small carp for this lake. Uh, usually they average, you know, oh, uh, low doubles. So I think we've got a little school of little guys that have come on in, but that's okay. They're loads of fun.
That is a heavy fish. I think that is a, I think that is over 20 pounds. Yeah, look thick that guy is. Look at the, look at the nah, shoulders on that guy. He is a one heavy boy. Whew. That is a nice fish. I should have brought my scale, but I didn't, so just gonna enjoy him. Wow, that is nice. Let's get him back in the water. What an awesome week that's, this has been. I mean, it's just been incredible. And it started off slow. Monday caught nothing. Tuesday I caught one fish. Uh, Wednesday I caught three nice double digit carp. Uh, Thursday I caught four fish, including that nice channel cat, a little fun double. And today um, I caught three fish, including uh, about a 20 pounder, which may be a, a PB for this lake for me. Um, it's been fabulous. It's been fabulous. So uh, I've done about seven and a half hours of fishing. I mean, uh, over the week, like, uh, somewhere about seven and a half to eight and a half, um, and I've caught ten fish. Now, if I had done an eight-hour session on Monday, just come in one go, took a day off work, done an eight-hour session, I probably would have blanked or just pulled out maybe one fish. But because I came back and fished for just a few hours, an hour and a half, an hour here and there, and, and consistently came back and chummed the spot, I had an incredible week. So I think the moral of the story here is finding a spot and coming back and consistently hitting it for an hour or two uh, is over a period of time is a much more effective strategy than just you know not fishing for a couple weeks, then all of a sudden taking an entire day off and plopping down and doing a 10-hour session. So uh, you know staying staying mobile, coming in and out real quick, you know hit a spot, come back next day, hit it again really effective strategy for carp. They have long memories and they remember where they find food. So if you keep coming back to the same spot uh, day after day, the carp are gonna get trained to that and you're gonna start getting a hotter and hotter fishing spot. What a fabulous day. This has been really fun. And I've caught some lovely fish. Um, and uh, if you haven't gotten into carp fishing, definitely need to try it. And if you wanna know how, just go to our website, uh, the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel. Uh, or our Facebook page, and there's tons of tips, and uh, good luck out there.